the Burn Handicap Chase will kick things off for week four then from Ascot. And it's a two mile one furlong, class three, naught to one thirty. The top one is Ignatiev Karanisi for James Shea. The magician Joshua Sutherland, Green Wizard, Craig Beckwith, Brush Strokes, Paul Rhodes, five points, Darren Thompson, Mao Picker, Daniel French, and Central House, John Morgan, Duchess Lancelot, Paul Rhodes, Walt Mavro, David Robertson, Chiller Melbourne, Graham Clutterbuck, Monster Dominator for Jim Murray, One Master, David Hooley, Cash Cow for Graham Clutterbuck, Palace Pie, and the Great Grave for Ryan Costello, Red Flag Day, Leon Van Rensburg, and Al Bugarath for Alex Cherry, they're already off and racing and heading towards the first of the fences in this race, just a little over two miles and one furlong. There's 12 fences to take, and Ignatiev Kalanisi has gone off in the lead with brush strokes on his outside in second. Those two going on from the grey, the great grey in third as they get to the first of the 12, which they're all safely to the other side of with Jim Murray's monster dominator, just the current back marker with one master and also. Chiller Melbourne towards the back, but it's Ignatiev Kalanithi, and they're already coming up past the stands for the first time. This fence that they're going to come to now will be the last on the next circuit, and it's Ignatiev Kalanithi that takes them over it from Brushstrokes in second. Good jump by the magician who's gone into third. Then three greys, oh, not quite together because two up the centre of the track. Those two are Watt Mavro and Central House. The third of the greys down on this near side is the Great Grey with his stable companion Cash Cow, uh, sorry, not Cash Cow, Palace Pie nearby. Cash Cow. It's just after that one, and the second of the Paul Rhodes was Duchess Lancelot as they pass the winning post and swing out there, right handed for a full circuit of the Ascot track. And Ignatiev Kalanisi, top weight and well known league front runner, is in front by two to brush strokes in second. The magician settled in third. Then there is now a line of three greys perfectly together with just headed by the great grey. Close up behind them, Mav Picker with a blue jacket on the inside as they get to the third, which they're all safely over. And five greys in this race. There's also one at the back, Chiller Melbourne. The other one is the purple jacketed one master. But it's Ignatia Kalanisi who's going to lead them into the fourth. Which they're all safer to the other side of again. Good jumping so far today. And Ignatia Kalanisi shows the way. Brush strokes his second. Central House has now moved into a clear third. The grey grey is on the inside in fourth. As they take that big ditch and the great grey jumped a little bit slowly. So too did Green Wizard at the back. That one looks... As they might not be on a going day today, but it's Ignati of Kalanisi who leads them into the sixth. Oh, a stake there by Brushstrokes in second. Really gave that one a wallop and has surrendered second to a fast improving master dominator on the outside. It was right out the back a minute ago and is now right up there challenging Albu. Alba Gubrath is the one that's just lost its place and is now dropped to the back of the field. So they're already getting down towards the Business end of the race then, and Ignatiev Karanisi has had an undisputed lead so far, but now the Great Grey is coming to challenge on the outside as they get over number seven. Good jump there this time by the Great Grey, has seen him go on into the lead. Monster Dominator on the outside is second as they get over the eighth. Uh, Brush Strokes jump that one more, but there's a four at the back there, Chiller Melbourne's gone. Brush Strokes is now going to challenge for the Great the Great Grey, Ignatiev Karanisi trying to fight back on the inside. Uh, five points of the Magician there, suddenly the race is on in earnest as they get over to third last, and it's the Magician who's gone on. The Magician from what Mavro? And five points now coming through to challenge the Great Grey is still trying to battle back. Ignati of Kalanisi is now a bit monster dominator still there. So is Palace Pie, the one that's beaten a bit of a retreat. is brush strokes and also Central House, but it's the Great Grey battling on gamely on the inside from the Magician. And five points. These three are starting to pull clear of the remainder and as they come down towards the second last then. And the Great Grey lands in the lead, gets away from it well, being chased by five points. And the Magician, the Great Grey, is getting a lot of weight, but he's still in front. He's battling on. He's a length to the good then as they race now to the final fence and it's the great grey in the lead one master was a four at the back it's the great grey in the lead five points is quite a challenge the magician's beaten over the final fence they go the great grey gets over it well it's now the uphill finish a furlong to go the great grey on the inside looks to be going strong and they're trying to run from the back the magician and palace by five points has got no more the great grey's probably going to hold on one last lunge from the magician but the great grey's going to hold on just at the line the great grey wins it magician second then palace pie five points master dominator was up there as well. I hope a goo breath was the last one to finish. And the great grey living up to his name, hanging on by the shortest of margins. But it's a great start to the week for Ryan Costello as he takes the first race. And so the great grey, the winner for Ryan Costello, the magician for Joshua Sutherland, the second. Five points for Darren Thompson, his third. Palace Pie, Ryan Costello again, was fourth. And Master Dominator for Jim Murray was fifth. <laughs>